Hi, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. With this video, I'm going to show you how to create this edit. Now let's get started. Open GapCut with the picture that you want to use. You want to make sure to use a real person picture, otherwise it might not work well for this edit. Then we're going to click on Format. Make sure we select 9 to 16. Then click on Overlay. Add Overlay. Select the green screen, which I will include in my share drive. Links in the description. Then zoom in the green screen to fill the screen. Then click on chroma key. Select the green color. Intensity. Adjust it to you don't see the green color. And then click on the picture. Edit. Crop. Select 3, 2, 4. And then make it smaller to fit the screen. It can be a little bit bigger, it's fine. Then adjust the duration of this one to 6.7 seconds. You want to make three copies of it. Then go to the first one, click on it. Then click on overlay to move it to the overlay track. Click on the first one again. Click on overlay. Then for the second picture on the overlay track, you want to adjust it to about 4.4 seconds. And then you want to click on the transition icon. Select superimpose or whichever one you like. Duration would be about 0 0.5 seconds. Then you want to adjust the end of the green screen to match the main video. Now let's click on the first overlay picture. Adjust the duration to about 6.3 seconds. Then click on effects, video effects. Click on split, select nine screens, then click on the nine screens effect, object, select the first overlay picture, and then adjust it to match the length. Then you want to go back to the overlay picture, click on it, move it downward, and then resize it to smaller. Then make sure you have it fit in that screen. Then we're going to click on the overlay picture, make a copy of it. Then adjust the duration to match the end of the other clips, which would be about 4.2 seconds. We are also going to add a nice green effect to it. Click on effects, video effects, split, nice green. Make sure you click on the effect object, select overlay. <coughs> Make sure you align with the entire video. And you're going to click on overlay, click on the green screen. Click on layer, make sure you select two. Then click on the second picture on the main track. Click on style, then select manga. Do the same thing with the second picture on the overlay track. Click on it, click on style, manga. Then click on the third overlay, adjust the duration to about 6.3 seconds as well. Then click on the green screen, click on extract audio, click on the audio, match cut, auto generate, bit 2. Let's go back to overlay, click on the third overlay chart picture. Make a copy of it. Then you want to go to the beat that's after 7 seconds. Adjust the copy overlay to begin over there. And then adjust the end to match the other clips. For this one, you're going to click on it and click on remove background. Then you want to zoom in this one to make it bigger and then move it down like that. Now we are going to add some effects to the clip. Go to the beginning of the clip, click on Effects, Video Effects, Basic, Blur, 
adjust it to match with the first part of the main video then we're going to go to overlay then click on the picture on the third overlay track add a keyframe at the beginning you might change the size a little make sure you adjust it to match then you want to click on mask click on circle you can adjust the size of the circle if you want then skip one bit go to the next one move this to the next place skip one bit go to the next one and then go to the next bit move to the next place and then go to the next bit move it to the next place and then right before the beat you want to add a keyframe and then you want to zoom in the timeline so we can add another keyframe at the beat click on mask again for this one we're going to blur out the edge a little and then make this to go bigger so this is what we would have so far with the keyframe. We need to add more effects to the clip. For the blur effect, I want it to be more blur. So I'm going to click on the blur, adjust, adjust the blur effect to be maximum. Then I'm going to click on video effects again, go to frame, view fighter 2 adjust this to align with the other one then we're going to go to the transition part right here click on video effects again this time we're going to go to details and then select the butterfly dream adjust it to match the end of the clip and then i'm also going to add another video effects i'm going to add love i'm going to select white hearts but you can play around whichever effects that you want to use adjust it to match with the entire clip to the end then i'm going to add another effect but it's for this overlay so i'm going to click on effects video effects basic edge glow click on the effect object and then select the last overlay make sure you align the effect with the entire video then i'm going to add another video effects basic pixel blur adjust it with the entire video then click on overlay click on the last overlay clip Click on style, manga, and then click on it, animation, in, a rock horizontal. Duration would be 0 0.5 seconds. So that's how you can create this edit. If you are too lazy to do all this step, you can simply go to CapCut to use my template with your own picture for this edit. All you need to do is select a vertical picture for this because if you're using horizontal picture, it will be a little bit off. That's it for this video. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, please be nice to yourself and have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.